Hello guys, what's going on? It's Lemon King here and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Pixel Mod on Pocket Pixels Gold. And we are back picking up where we left off from last episode, except it's been quite a while since I've recorded one of these, a couple days at least, and I try getting new things to happen. And from last episode, nothing really has changed out in the outside, but we've made some new friends around here. And I don't know if I'm allowed to do this or not, but hopefully they don't mind, but there was a lot of houses being built over in this area, and what I wanted to do was connect the road over here to these houses so these guys are now my friends with master owen and some girls here and they are now my buds going up here but i also connected the road out this way and connected the road down here and that's their shop and connected the road down and around and stuff so i wanted to connect the road together to make it a little bit nicer because people were just building out at random in random spots so i wanted to put the road out there to make it a little bit nicer but other than that, we just went around, caught some more Pokemon, did some, you know, sprucing up and stuff, and talked to some people, you know, just the standard stuff. But what we want to do in today's episode is prepare ourselves for the first gym, which is the Rock Gym. Now, I have my team set up for my Master Team. I have a 73 B-Sharp, a 53 Pupitar, 53 Tentacruel. I upgraded my Shiny Flaffy to Shiny Ampharos, level 50. I got my Charizard and I got a Venusaur and I had a bunch of rare candy so that's where they went and I maxed these guys up B sharp being my strong suit and that is our main team that I'm gonna be going with for now but for the rock gym you only can have the rock gym is a 3v3 setup and you can only have Pokemon up to level 25 so right now I have a corp fish and my Ivysaur that I want to come with me for that battle because those guys are both good against rock type Pokemon so I need what the, the types that are good against rock are water grass fighting and steel so I need one more Pokemon to fit that category and I was gonna go out and look for a steel Pokemon and that's what I want to do today try to find a steel Pokemon and then upgrade Ivysaur as high as he can get up towards level 25 and take whatever steel Pokemon I get and try to get him up to level 25 so then I have my three Pokemon at level 25 and I will also go and use my I can use some potions, you're allowed three potions and one revive no max revives in the battle so I don't know if any of these guys will learn frustration or thief I probably want to put those on my higher level Pokemon because it would be better because these Pokemon are just to beat the rock gym and how the gyms work is you have to beat one gym to move on to the next gym so I'd have to beat rock to get to ice to get the fire to get the grass to get the psychic and steel to get to water and so on and so forth until you get up to the frontier gyms where it's max level 85 and stuff like that where you know stuff like that so this episode I want to go try to find a steel Pokemon if I can I don't really know where the best place to find steel Pokemon is I'm gonna look that up quick because I know you can find them up in the mountains. And that's where I found my uh, Bisharp. Okay, let's see if I can find out where steel come from. Steel or fighting would be good. Okay. doesn't tell me where they spawn at. I assume it's up in the mountains because that's where I would imagine that it would be. Because that's what we're looking for. So I have a bunch of guys up here. Actually, they could spawn in the ice biome too. You know, let's do warp gym 2. Let's go to the ice biome. Actually, you know, this is not where I want to be. Okay, slash warp west. This is the closest place I know that I can find them. 
So what I want to do is try to find this thing. Showcase. Want this? Get out of my inventory. So obviously there's a lot of people on the server right now. There's like a hundred people on here, and the lag is real bad. And but that's normal. Yes, it's nice in the morning, and I should start just recording this in the morning. The problem is there's not a lot of gym leaders on in the morning to fight those gyms. But that's when I come on and do a lot of my just random stuff. Not really, not my recorded stuff. But that's when I come on and do just a bunch of random things like prepping the stuff and building stuff to do because there's less people on and there's not a lot of block lag because there is a lot of block lag on the server. And it can get really nasty. So doing it in the morning before everybody gets on is what I like to do. Do to try to get Pokemon. Okay, Machop, what are you? Are you fighting? I think Machop. Machop might be fighting, is he? He is fighting. And he does less. He gets attacked by less rock. Okay, I might actually want to get him on my team. Obviously, I have to get him up to a little bit higher level. But what can I do that won't kill him? He's poisoned. Okay, that's good. Now, can Ivy Sword can you put him to sleep? I don't want to use my whatever. I can't remember what. I don't even remember that crab thing I put in there. I don't want to uh, use him because if he levels up again, I can't use him. If they have to be level 25 entering the gym. If they evolve in the gym or level up in the gym, that's fine. But I can't Like, I can't, like, take a level 26 in the gym and say, oh, he just leveled up. No, you have to be level 25 or lower. And anything, if you don't, say, if you don't have more than three Pokemon, or you use a higher level than 25 Pokemon, or you use some kind of different potions or something that's illegal, then you're disqualified from the contest. So... You don't want to do that, so I'm just going to look him up quick because I don't have him in my Pokédex. He's number 66, so I'll go to my Word document here, find number 66, there you are, and get him out of there. I probably won't use him ever again, I might have to, I probably will have to evolve him up to get Machoke and Machamp. So, yeah, so let's go back home now. And heal up my guys, I could pretty much take Venusaur out of the mix now because I'm not going to need him. He can go away. So I don't know if we're going to have enough time in this episode. Probably not. Uh, I don't think we'll have enough time to do that. The one girl just wanted me to come to the shop. So I guess we'll take a trip over to the magical shop. But yeah, I I want to level, I want to get Ivysaur and Machop up to a higher level Machop. I don't see myself using a fighting. Okay. I was talking to her before. I don't really want anything, but no, you said just to TP over here. What's this? Oh, excuse me. Interesting stuff. Why would I TP to you? But I'm staying right front. Okay, let's go work on evolving these guys up. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take a break here. And I'm going to go and evolve these guys up, and then I'll evolve these guys up, and then I'll come back to you when we're ready to battle. So see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, and we are back here, and we got all of our Pokemon leveled up to level 25. 
It took a good bit of time to do that because Machop was only level 6 when we got him. And to get Ivysaur up to level 25. But I think we are ready to attack, so <clears throat> here's what we got. We got a level 25 Machop, and he knows all fight and moves, so should be a good fighting type. <coughs> but if we, if we need any other moves for him, we're not going to get it. But we have Seismic Toss, Low Sweep, which is probably our most damaging of moves. We have Karate Chop, and we also have Revenge. So it's an attack move that inflicts double the damage if the user has been hurt by the opponent in the same turn. We have our Corp Fish, which has, he can protect himself, so it enables the user to evade all attacks. Its chance of failing rises if it is used in succession. It can harden to ha raise its defense stat. It also has Bubble and Bubble Beam, which Bubble's not really needed, but we have Bubble Beam. 20 of those. And our Ivysaur Sweet Scent will distract the target, make it easier to hit. Poison Powder adds Poison Sleep Powder, try to put it to sleep. And Razor Leaf is our really biggest damaging move here. Poison does damage, but Razor Leaf is the big kahuna of damages. So I don't know how long it's going to take us to get into the queue line. So let's just do slash gym join. Well, let's make sure we know the rules. Gym 1. So it's level cap of 25, 3v3, Pokemon during battle. Use Dragon Rage Span, no choice items. You have three potions of any kind, one revive, zero max revives. No multiple Pokemon in the same evolution line. So let's do slash warp gym one. And gym one is the rock gym, and this is what it is. So here's the message board outside of the rock gym. And be very careful and obey level three cap, no choice items like that. Protect moves cannot be used three times in a row. So I have protect on it on uh, him. So protect can't be used three times in a row. Max three potions and one regular revive. No dragon rage can no dragon rage used in his gym. No one hit KO moves. No weather effects allowed. No legendaries. No multiples of Pokemon in the same evolution line. So <clears throat> I don't know if there's the I don't know if we have a one-hit KO move itself, but the moves we have are legit level 25 moves. So this is what the gyms look like here. This is the first. This is the rock gym. This is what the rock gym looks like. But that's a big Gyarados. That's. Actually, a smart move. You can get Gyarados evolved. So, I didn't see what kind of move he actually had. Handshake. This is what the Q line looks like. So I don't know, is there anybody else in the Q line or not? Before you, I will be doing some heavy damage. That'd be nice to have, but we don't have that kind of power here. But you know, there's no one else really joining this. There's no one else really join this thing yet. Hmm. 
Plus these guys are in the queue line, they're just waiting. I don't know what else I really can use to beat this Pokemon, but Ivysaur might be our strongest of opposition. Though Machop has the stronger moves. He has Revenge and Low Sweep. Only one way to find out, isn't there? <clears throat> I think we should take him on slash two slash gym join gym one. Let's oh we're only look for the first one line, so Take this on. So we got a golem first. So what is a golem? Okay, so golem is a low level of that. It takes double to grass and four times to grass. So let's take Ivysaur out here. Ivysaur. Ivysaur. Magic. All right, Ivysaur, you can do your thing. Good job, Ivysaur. You just barely hung on. One more time. And out of there. Okay, what is he going to throw out next? Lunaton. What is a Lunaton? He takes double damage to grass as well, so I should be able to fight him in the same direction. Ooh. Oops. Okay, what else does he take? Water. Bubble beam it. Magic. I'm bubble beam. Do your double damage. Oh, this is not good. Uh, might need to use super potion on him. Get him back up to health. Damn. It didn't work! Alright, now we're down to a chop. Okay, so let's use a low sweep on him. This isn't going to be that effective, I know that. But, we can try to get something out of it. So the Corp Fish might not be the best thing. Ivy Sword did good. But the Lunaton, we need something to fight with. Alright, so that's going to be a tough one to fight with. I think the Corp Fish is not good, but he is a Psychic on that. So the Lunaton we're going to have to worry about. The Lunaton takes up damage to Grass and Water. So, uh... Lunaton, or Corp Fish didn't do much. I didn't really see what Machado had, so... Ivysaur needs to stay. Actually, Ivysaur I can't use again. Crap. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Well, I am going to have to go and remodel our deck, and we'll, we'll see what happens in the next episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please remember to leave a like. It'd be greatly appreciated. And comment down below any ideas or tips for future episodes. But next episode, hopefully we'll be able to take the Rock Gym, and we can get a better Pokemon set going on here. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all, you guys.